on Sunday night, we decided to go out to dinner. And it's probably not a great idea because one, we don't eat a lot, and number two, I don't like sitting around in restaurants. I don't want to waste an hour and a half sitting in one spot. I just like to eat and get out. So we decided to go to the bootlegger down on Las Vegas Boulevard. And the bootlegger is a super cool, old style, Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra style Italian place. It's open 24 hours. It's like it's straight out of the Prohibition era. So we went out and had a really nice dinner. The problem is that we way over ate and I was feeling extremely uncomfortable, overweight and out of shape, just horrible. So we figured let's go down to the strip and we'll try to walk it off. As the night progressed, I, I just felt out of shape, old, and just not good. And that feeling stayed with me for really the next 24 or 48 hours. And that feeling is what prompted me to talk about a few things in this vlog. And one of the things is that Father Time is catching up with me and it's eventually going to catch up with everybody out there. I don't care who you are, if you're young, if you're middle-aged, if you're old, it's going to affect you and it's going to creep up on you. There's no stopping it. You can try to postpone it, but there's absolutely no stopping it. Everybody that's lived before us has, has faced that. Everybody that's alive today is going to face it and it's just inevitable. So we fight that battle. How do we slow down the aging process? This aging process is what I refer to as the Peter Gabriel syndrome. And I love Peter Gabriel. He is, he is one of my biggest influences on me musically. I thought he was absolutely the coolest rock star on the planet back in the 70s. And as I've gotten older, I've watched Peter Gabriel go from the, the coolest rock star on the planet 
to a senior citizen, you know, I've watched him age. And I love Peter Gabriel. This is nothing about him. I just use him as a metaphor. It happens to all of us. But there becomes a point in time where we stop looking young and we start looking old. And I've hit that point in my life where I've noticed, hey, you know, wherever I go, I seem to be the oldest person in the room or, or at least one of the older people in the room. So, so I'm facing this reality head on and it's like a train, a freight train coming at you. Coming down over me in the red, red sea, over me, over me, red rain.